Hi guys, my name's Mark and I'm an Oyster Boy and today I'm going to be putting together one of these flagship beer kits from Muntons. Now this is their new range which came out not too long ago. Um, we got our hands on two of them, so we've got a West Coast IPA and a Velvet Milk Stout. I think today I'm going to put together this Milk Stout kit, um, so let's just get rid of that one over there. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be drinking this Rolling On Rhubarb Hefeweizen from McColl's Brewery and Campervan Brewery. Uh, rhubarb Hef is not something they've had before, so let's give that a whirl. Smells like a crumble, tastes like a wheat beer. It's actually really, really nice. So let's open this up and see what you get inside. Cardboard box, widely recyclable. Instructions, also recyclable. Two big old tins of malt extract. And we have a packet, 500 grams of lactose, and a packet of Safale SO4. Now, this is the only thing in there which you can't recycle, so probably quite good for the environment. Um, let's get rid of the packaging down there. It does come with a full set of instructions, which have quite a bit of detail in there. I'll flash a picture up on the screen so you can actually see it. And also some information about the other kits in the range. If you're familiar with making kit beers already, then this is going to be uh, very, very easy for you. Nothing really different to some of the other ones, apart from the fact that it does have this packet of lactose as well. Um, there's no other sugar to add into it, so it's just a case of get these warmed up, put them in your bucket with this, mix it together with some hot water to get everything dissolved, whack it up to 20 litres with cold. You want to be aiming for a target temperature of around 18 to 21 degrees, and then shove it in the fridge, leave it for two weeks, and come back and see what you've got. So uh, I'm just going to speed the next bit up, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to give you some information about Muntons, who they are, and what they do. Munson's have actually been trading for 100 years this year and started out in 1921. And uh, this year also marks the 40th anniversary of when they launched their first ever homebrew kit. Munson's source all of their malt within 50 miles of their uh, maltings, which is great for the green credentials and the carbon footprint. Also, there were founder members of a farmer support group which has helped over 140 farmers through a Sustainable Futures initiative and have invested over £23.5 million in green initiatives. Okay, so I've got everything mixed together. My temperature is sitting at around 21.1 degrees, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, 18 to 21, they say, I'm as close as I'm going to get it. So this is going to get the yeast pitched, lid on, into the fermentation fridge in there. Gravity came out at about uh, 1.057. I'd expect it to be quite high because of the lactose that we put in there, um, but it will probably finish quite high as well. So I'm going to put everything in there now, get it in that fridge in there, and uh, I'll catch up with Future Mark and Future Penny, who are going to try this. See you soon, guys. Hi guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys, and today we are going to be trying this uh, rich, creamy, velvet milk stout from uh, the Muntons flagship range, which you've just seen me make. Yes, well, I mean, it's the first sort of uh, kit beer that I've had on draft for me, so it's going to be a nice surprise, but obviously you made this, as we've seen in the video before, but, yeah. uh, well, I mean, unlike in the box, recyclable. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I've already spoke about that. No, have you already told them about the locally grown Suffolk malt? Uh, oh. Yeah. Sorry, mate, I've done it all for you. <laughs> so, um, you the, the head and the carbonation, if, if there's any issues with that, that's all on me. It's not on Muntons, obviously. Uh, I've had this in the corny now for about six, five or six days, at 8 to 10 PSI, because it's a stout. It's not meant to be really fizzy, is it? Uh, okay. So, um, well, I think the, the first thing we need to just see, how, how does it look? It looks black. Uh, yeah, very I mean, dark black. Uh, 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 it's cold, maybe a bit too cold. Who knows? But it's. I like it. I like it. You might thought, doesn't it? A bit, a bit of a tan head when it was there. But you have to forgive us because it's been on the table for a few minutes before we started. It's so. a kit beer. I mean, it's exactly what you want it to be, isn't it? If someone give me that, I'd be a very, very happy man. Yeah. Uh, eight point five for me. Yep, yeah, I think spot on. I think probably an eight point yeah, yeah. five as well. Can't really knock it. I, lo I love the colour of the head. I love the, the colour of the beer. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm game. I'm game. You're game? I smell yeah. it. 
So normally with a stout, I'm looking for a roasty, toasty, dark. Oh, very treacly. Uh, yeah. Treacle toffee. You've got your nose right in it. Yeah, I'm not getting much, uh, like, uh, any, like, hop aroma or bitterness or anything like that. No. A lot of treacle. Maybe a slight hint of yeast. I mean, it's not blowing me away. It's, it's not bad. It's, I'm getting something. It's like a 7.5, isn't it? It's good, but it's not like... Uh, I mean, I think you've been very generous <laughs> with a 7.5. For me, I, 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 a 6.9 for me. Okay. Um, like I say, I'm getting the, the, the treacle and slicing. Yeah, yeah, it's not blowing me away. But uh, 6.9 is a, a good score. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's quite breaking that seven boundary for me. Well, let's dive in and give it a taste. I mean, what I'd expect from the taste on this one, because it's it finished quite high, finished at um, 10.20, 1. Wow. 0, 1.020. 0. But there's a lot of lactose in there as well. 500 grams of lactose goes in. Okay. Only makes 35 pints, so um, you'd expect a high final gravity, which leaves me think it'll have a, a really good mouthfeel. It'll be quite, maybe a little bit sweet, but let's oh, dive in and yeah, give it a try. So. so did you use everything from this pack? Everything. Yeah, so it comes everything that is in there. You get two tins of uh, malt extract, so three and a half kilos of malt extract. You also get 500 grams of uh, lactose, lactose as well, and a packet of yeast, and then just add water. So Ooh. Okay. Give it a go. So cheers. 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 Now, I will be honest, it tastes like a kit beer. It does taste like a kit beer, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. I don't think there's a way that you can get away from it. I always thought that it was the, uh, the yeast that would give you that kit beer flavour. But I think it's just the fact that it's kit beer. Don't get me wrong, right? It's, it's good for a kit beer, isn't it? It's probably one of the best kit beers I've tasted, to be honest. Yeah? Considering we've gone from kit beer that's almost drink undrinkable, which is, if you, if you look up here, you'll find a review of a, the first review of a kit beer we did. To this. Which, which was dog shit. To this. <laughs> to kit, a kit beer scale. Oh, mate, you're knocking on the nine, nine to tens for, for kit beer. For kit beers. Um, you know, it, it, just, uh, it would never pass the blind test to, of a uh, all grain versus a, a kit beer. But, I mean, I'll tell you one it's thing. Like it's thin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if what give it to maybe, me is... Maybe not thin, maybe... I'll tell you what's good, for that high OG, it's not overly sweet. I like it. Yeah. Um, Thin's the wrong word that I've used that, there. It's, you, you, I, can, it, you can taste water. I still water. think it's, like it's the yeast. I don't think, because this came with um, SO4, SO5, can't remember. Whichever the blue packet one, I'll put it on the screen there. Um, it's just... It just doesn't taste the same as when you do a full mash at home, does it? No, but... What, what I would say, though, is if you haven't got all grain equipment... No. You haven't got oh, the mate. ability to do it... Ten. I'd be very, very happy with this. Yeah. Very, very happy. If, it, if I was uh, making kit beer... I, I, I've tasted some terrible kit beer. This is definitely one of the best kit beers I've tasted. Definitely, especially yeah. for, for the stout as well, because it's everything it says on the box, um, to be perfectly honest. And maybe it's, it's almost like um, trying to replicate a stone cooked or, or you know, or uh, wood fired pizza. pizza with your oven pizza. You're never going to do it, but you're going to get some damn good uh, yeah, you know, yeah, frozen pizza. Yeah, damn, yeah. And I think yeah. this is definitely your, your premium range of that. And you can tell that they've used quality ingredients. Yeah, you can. Like I say, compared so to the other kit beers we've done, this is this is worlds apart. The yeast apart. actually had a brand, or you knew what type of yeast it wasn't just in a silver packet. Didn't just didn't just come in a silver packet. You and say know, ale yeast. Yeah, yeah, you know exactly. What it is, it's yeah, uh, the ingredients is local, and it's it's you know it's yeah yeah. I mean, I tell you what. Let me go in again. I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. It's nine, nine and a half thousand pounds. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy that as a present for someone. Absolutely. 
and um, oh, someone's getting into brewing, some like you know, or, or, or someone that, that brews kits. Yeah, this would be like oh, you're you've been you've been doing kit and kilo, so you know one tin kilo of sugar for a while. You get them that, that's gonna change their lives. Yeah, that's that's almost like the the gateway to great, or, like all great, yeah. I guess, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so uh, for fla- and the more I drink it, the more I like. So, what would you give it for a score? I mean, it's probably for me. Let's go in again. I'm gonna give it a six six. You know, it's not a bad beer. I've bought worse beers. Yeah, we've, re- we've reviewed worse 100%. commercially available beers. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But for a homebrew beer, obviously you can do better if you go all grain. But if you're not at that stage or you're not doing that, you want to do kits then. This is probably a really good one, but six six I think is a fair score for the for the taste. It's six nine for me. Yeah. Like I say, I've had worse commercial beers. Uh, I've had worse all grain beers. So, well, well, I suppose you could say it with a commercial beer sort of thing. So, yeah. a six point nine. Um, I'd be over the moon if I made a kit beer that tastes like this. Yeah. Well, well, we did. We yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm just saying relatively yes. Um, so. Yeah, I really, really like it. Okay, price, uh, it is 29 quid. Okay. Works out at about 80p a pint. Okay, so in terms of like, if you were to buy all the, the grain and stuff like that, obviously that's a lot cheaper, but then obviously these yeah, guys but, have got yeah. to do their next process. I was they? gonna say, yeah, but if you buy all the grain and do it like that, then why don't you add on 695 <laughs> quid for a grain father <laughs> to go with it as well? That's true, that's true. And obviously we, we'd, um, up, we did a video with link above of upgrading a cheap cheap entry level kit yeah. with fresh hops and uh or we bought yeah, their own yeast yeah, different yeah. yeast and that worked out about 88p or 80p so, a pint so they're, they're on on board and i'd probably say that this beer is comparable to where we were with that beer 100%, really. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah and we like that beer we drank a few after it so yeah but no this i think that i think the price is good i'd probably give it a seven nine uh yeah 7.5. Yeah. Yeah. What I would say, though, is it's very drinkable. I'll be having a few more of these after this. Yeah. I'll be having one of these with the pizza, that's for sure. Yeah. So, you know, sessionability, um, it's it's 5%, by the way. Okay. 5% beer. Um, uh, I, and it's very, well, you can tell by the fact that we're going through it, it's a very drinkable beer. Yeah. Uh, 6.5. For me, six. I could have six and a half pints of that for a stout. I'm not a dark. I'm not a dark beer guy, yeah. and I reckon I could probably do six of them. There you go. Um, it's really. I don't know what it is about it, but it just. It just goes down so easy. Yeah. It, 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 so I mean, I think with this one, what we're saying is, it's not um, the most mind-blowingly tasty beer. Well, no, but, but really good value for money. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Very, very drinkable, um, and it looks great. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I, I, I could. Would I recommend it to someone that wanted to get into 100%. Brewing? Oh, yeah. 100%. I, uh, yeah. I would recommend that. If you had a choice between this and like uh, Cooper's or, oh, or, 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 a, or a, like a John Bull or, or those other kind of kits, well, this, is gonna, this is going to This take is double it. the price, but this doesn't taste like. Shit. What did you call it? Alcoholic liquid. Al- alcohol flavoured <laughs> Liquid, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a beer flavoured water, basically, yeah. is what the other ones yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This it is, a, you, it is a beer. It's a very, yeah. a very drinkable beer that you're making out of it. So Very drinkable. Yeah. So Very drinkable. Uh, da- uh, do you say dairy drinkable because lactose? If I did, then <laughs> that's a great pun. I well, did yeah. say that. I did say I did say dairy drinkable. <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm very happy with it. Um, we've, we've got another one of these kits to do. We've got what the... What have we got? Uh, I think... It's the hazy IPA, the Ooh, hazy zesty fruity I'm hazy IPA. I'm excited to see what that. I'm not sure if it's that or the West Coast. It must have been the hazy because you don't like West Coast beers, do you? Well, uh, no, I don't. I don't. So, but you bought it, so yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it from us. Uh, here's the oyster score for this beer, just descending from the heavens. Bear in mind, this is a kit beer. Yeah, it's pretty good, I think. Yeah. So, uh, if you like what you've seen today, smash like, hit subscribe, tell a friend. Um, go and buy this. There's loads of places that you can buy this online. Um, I might link to one of them. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Check in the description to see if there's something there. 
Um, and uh, that's it from us. We've got to go and sparge now, and then uh, pizza's going to be on in a bit. So have a great day, and oysters out.